our story began at the Astral Academy, the highest place of wizardly learning in all the kingdom. The Academy housed magical secrets in its vaults, and the wizards had vowed to protect them from falling into the wrong hands. A fiercely persistent monster that set its mind upon penetrating. is immune to our magic. With all these recent incidents around the Academy, I'm beginning to think we need outside assistance. Let's send for help. What we need is our heroes. Trouble in the kingdom, who could save the day? Why, of course, the three heroes of our story, Amadeus, Pontius, and Sawyer. Once upon a time, they had all lived ordinary, unremarkable lives. At that time, Pontius, a stout-hearted knight and protector of the common folk, was busy at work. He was tracking a thief who had abducted a sheep from a poor peasant family. The no good bandit is hiding somewhere in these ravines. I'll catch him and save that sheep, or my name isn't Pontius the Brave. there are any goblins in these caves. the sheep and I'll let you go. Oh, but this is my sheep, you thieving blackguard. The 
won't be getting away. Wait around. is about to end up as goblin grub if I don't do something. Fork and dinner knife. This sheep is going back home with me. Pontius was the strongest and bravest of them all. Zoya was another matter entirely. Zoya relied on her bow and her grappling hook to keep her distance from any trouble. She was brave in her way, but perhaps in a manner that was more self-serving than honourable. Zoya had been a thief long before circumstances had made her a reluctant hero. In the recent years, though, Zoya had less interest in burgling the largesse of high society. Instead, she directed her attentions abroad to far distant lands and their old forgotten ruins and treasures.
It is my giant emerald. You, you crayon colored nuisance. Thank you. 